uh, hello all so uh, this video is about visualizing the intermediate convolution layers of a convolution neural network and for this uh, i have taken a pre-trained model vgg16 its weight and model everything is available online so you can just take it and use it and you not train it by yourself so this is a small tool and it will just uh, give you a pictorial view of your intermediate layer the output and it's quite fun to play with so so let's see how you can use this tool so first let me minimize this interface and so let me go to the directory where everything is there so this is the main python file and this is the designed pyqt file yep yep the gui is made on pyqt4 so let me run a command window here and let me close this interface first okay so let me run the uh, python and give me tab okay so this file is to be run and yeah so this is the interface when you get uh, you get when you open this and so it has four options of loading the model and seeing the model summary loading input image predicting output so let's load the model first so actually I have saved the model in HDFI format, not just the weight, but the entire model along with the weight. So you, I just load this model and you can, you can see in the CMD window here, it says loading the model and you will get a pop up once the model is loaded. So you have to just give okay. Then you have to load input image. So I have some test images here. So let me load a dog here. So this is the input image and this is the pre-processed image. So if you have read about VGG16, it takes an input of 224 by 224 by 3 and it subtract the mean from the red, green and blue layer. So it looks like this after mean subtraction. So and when you predict output, so it will feed this input to the model and it will predict output which will be shown in this console so you can see its class label as an image net is 162 its class probability is 98 percent class name is bagel and image net id is this so now uh, if you want to visualize the intermediate layers so you have to just click on this get layer configuration you have a few other options like choosing the layer number which you want to visualize and you can see the model summary here if you click it so yeah it, it gives a pictorial view of your different layer this is the input and the padding then the convolution so you can see it and you can also see a more detailed view sorry now this one yeah this one yep so you can see it, it just gives you a detailed view here and a pictorial view here and all these images are saved in this your parent directory so yeah it's here also the yeah model the summary so you can just zoom and visualize whatever layer you want to it, it just gives one a uh, pictorial view so it's just good to uh, look at it so now once you have loaded it suppose i am i want to visualize layer number zero maybe so uh, you have to just click on get layer configuration and you can see name layer number input shape output shape number of features because it's just a zero padding and you can see the output feature maps here so it's the R, G and B layer. So let's let's go to some higher, I mean deeper layer, maybe third layer. So you just click on get layer configuration. And uh, it takes some time to load it and uh, you will know it's loaded when you can see it here. Layer number three, layer name, shape and number of feature maps 64. So you can go to show output feature maps and you can see 64 feature maps of layer number three. So you can see what convolution network is learning. It has highlighting different features and you can see the individual feature map by using this, uh, this interface. Yeah. So if you want to see the filter number zero, so it will be zero, one, two, three. So maybe let me see three. So I just click here three or you can toggle it from this button and you can see specific feature map. So you can see the third, uh, yeah, third filter feature map. So you can see the convolution. It is very beautifully highlighting the edges and you can again go back and see the entire set of feature map or using this any specific maybe. Let me see number 60th feature map. Yep. So you can see the specific feature map. and Yeah, this is a 60th feature map and you can toggle it maybe 60 second. Yeah, same. And similarly for uh, this layer number, you can go further deeper maybe 11th layer you have to just click on get layer configuration 
and deeper the model like more feature maps so you will take some time to compute so we wait for a few seconds maybe yep and uh, let it load until it loads uh, actually all these feature maps and all it are saved in this parent directory so you can uh, take it from here and maybe use it in your paper research or presentation to show your output like what do you want this is actually for image net model and you can do it for your own model so that i'll show you later uh, it's taking quite a time to load why it's so okay so yeah okay what's wrong with this now ah okay no problem now I, i'll let it load so meanwhile i can, i'll show you um, how you can get to this so you have to just go to my github uh, repository where name is convolution layer visualization vgg16 so yeah so you if you open the repository you will see this and there is a small readme for it so uh, everything is inside this folder so as i said i saved the model in hdf5 or h5 format so that easily i can just load the model so you can do this by going to the actual vgg16 uh, program actually here so in in this site you go this is the vgg sorry let me go from here only directory and yeah so you see this is the vgg16 command and uh, weights path are already given so what you have to do is in order to save your model in hdf5 format you just need to yeah it's the function here so anywhere here maybe you just need to do this you have to call the model using this command vgg16 include top equal to true weights image net and then once the weight is loaded you can save the model in this hdf5 or h5 format and that model need to be uh, stored in your this directory so that model you just this directory or any directory you can because you're just browsing anyhow so you can store it in that directory and you can load it anytime so uh, you can use any backend obviously Theano or Keras just you have to vary the input and also yeah this is for ImageNet as I said and you can do it for like your own models just one thing that you have to vary is uh, in this file of VGG16 visualization there is a function here as define browse input image so this actually take the input image and the way this area is like uh, it's designed for image net you give a target size of this and image of this so you have to just give uh, your way of feeding the input and then you're good to go you can see your intermediate layers so yeah let's see meanwhile if it's loaded and you can see yeah, it's it's i'm sorry it took quite a time it should not take that in your machine and uh, you can see uh, it's layer number 13 and you go, uh, you have to just go for the show output feature maps and you can see there are 256 different filters so if you want to visualize the number 60 second filter then you can go for it and you can see this so uh, i hope that's quite easy to install it just that uh, i'm sorry for the noise here <laughs> so uh, yeah just that you, you go to the github I, I'll, I'll give you the link for this and you can play with it and yeah that's all so good luck enjoy enjoy the tool <laughs> and yeah uh, you you can obviously load as different input images you like just one demo here maybe a uh, space shuttle here and uh, you can just predict output and uh, it, it show you space shuttle so you can just play with it good luck